Okay, we're here with Suzanne. So Suzanne, what are we going to see today? Um, today you're going to see a strategy that's called Give One, Get One. And so the purpose of the strategy is to get students up and moving and sharing information about what you've been teaching them. So I think it's a good way for them to process the information that they've been involved in learning about. Um, it's a good way to summarize. You could have them give one word. They could have to give three facts. But it's they're up and they're moving and they're processing and they're sharing information about what you've been teaching them. Okay, who are we working with today? Uh, today we worked with social studies teachers from the ESU4 area. All right, thanks. You're welcome. Well, part of a lesson, the students would write down one word to summarize the lesson, or perhaps they could write down three facts or three important things that they learned from the lesson and write it on a sticky note or write it on a note card, as we're going to use today. And then they would go around and they would exchange those give one, get one. So you'll see how it's going to go today. So what we're going to do is on a card, you're going to respond to the following question. One way I engage students in my classroom is to... And you're going to take your card and find a partner, introduce yourselves again, and share your information. And then you're going to exchange cards. And we're going to keep doing that and going around and doing this. You're going to leave with your partner's card. And after two or three exchanges, you're going to return to your table group and you're going to share information on your last card. Now, as I said, there are varying ways to do this. When we have a larger group, sometimes Mitzi likes to do a silent get one, get one, where we turn on the music and we don't say anything. We just exchange cards and we go around and do that several, several times. And again, I think that's another way to adapt it to what you're doing in your classroom, where they don't actually talk, but they give up, they get up and silently give one and get one. So here are your cards and ways that you engage students in your classroom. You can write down, yeah, one way right now is fine, or a couple ways, that's good. And what I would like you to do is, I'm going to have you stand up in a second, and then I'd like you to exchange your cards with at least four other people. And does everybody understand the task? All right, please stand up and go ahead and give one, get one. Okay. I brought you. One on the way in March. He's going to have to. Take the other person's card. Take the other person's card. Exchange with somebody else now. So let's go ahead and exchange again, please. So we're just going to keep exchanging each other. We're doing it for every lesson. She's done with Adam. Have you guys have you exchanged with somebody over there? Or you know what? Go join a group if you have it. That's cool too. to enter small groups that way they know that okay they're going to be picked no matter what and they, they can't help which group they're in because lots of kids especially at high school they want to be in their own groups that's right 
That's right. So it's just the randomly picking names for students to be into groups like that. Idea. Any other ideas you want to share that you've heard? Yeah, this one said read in the newspaper. I think using the newspaper is a, a good way to get, get students engaged. I don't think a lot of kids either read the newspaper or watch it real often, so if they're not going to see it at school, they're probably not going to see it. I think that's a great idea. And it's engaging them in something that is relevant and timely. And, you know, we're making those connections to real world when we do that. Another idea that you learned about? I like the idea of um, the current event example, you know, because it doesn't matter if I'm teaching Renaissance Europe. I can give them ideas of this is how it connects, but it's, I really like the idea of having the kids because sometimes they think so, I mean, they, they're smarter than I am. And so by, by valuing that, so how does this, why does this apply today? And then it gives them a chance to shine and encourages them to watch the news, you know, and to listen because they get really excited when they get to share something. So I don't know whose that was for sure, but I really liked that one. Yeah, great ideas. <coughs> All right, do you see how you could use give one, get one in your classroom? Again, anytime we get students up and moving around in our classroom, even if I was reading, when I was reading about summarization um, the other day, that we really need to get them up and moving every 10 minutes or so. So after we presented a lesson, then we could do stand up, do a give one and get one, and they're reflecting back on what they're learning, and they're maybe paraphrasing, or you could use one word or three facts. There's lots of ways that you could do this and adapt it. I think what's most important, though, is that you model it first and you set expectations. So when you do a give and get one, this is what I expect, this is what it should look like, and we're going to model one and practice one before we actually do it. So I think that's really important so students clearly understand what we expect them to do with the activity. So one of my favorite activities, again, as I mentioned before, Mitzi did it silently, and she turned on the music, and they had to keep exchanging cards. And I think that's a great way. Or you could set a limit, exchange with two people or exchange with three people. So fun activity to do. We're back here with Suzanne. So how'd it go? I think it went very well. They were sharing different ideas on how they engaged the students. So they shared about four different times with the other colleagues in the room. And they really came back to their table with some different ideas on how they can engage students in their classroom. So they were up, they were moving, they were processing, they were learning. I think it was a great activity. Okay, so that's give one, get one. That's right. Thank you. Mm -hmm.